Wow. <laughs> I feel like it's been so long since I've been here. I mean, I, I got to get used to the lights again and, and where to look into the camera. I know I've taken a hiatus and trust me, I'm going to explain myself. But as I explain myself, I want you to focus on the message and what happened. So what happened to Darren Mitchell? Where has Darren Mitchell been all of these months? Well, this is what happened. Have you ever been in a situation where you started something and you got good at it and then you joined something else and then somebody else said, man, hey, you do really good over there. Can you try this over here? And then you sometimes you may even get caught up in the title like we want you to be the emperor ambassador, master, master, excuse me, master director of this company. We want you to be the president of this organization. We want you to run this company. We want you to run that and do this and do that and assist with this and manage that. And, and then you wind up being busy, just being busy. And see, there's a difference between being busy and being productive. And a lot of people fall into the trap like I did of just being busy. And so I found myself stuck in this cycle of just being busy. Like I, I can't even explain it to you, but it was a it was a feeling like you get this feeling when you know you're about to burn out. It's like in your gut and it's, it's it, it goes from your heart to your gut and something just doesn't feel right. And it took me to remember something that a lady by the name of Mary Morrissey, her videos are great. She used to do work with the guru of motivational speaking, actually the one of the originators Bob Proctor and I went to a workshop of hers and I want you guys to pay attention to this because I know there's somebody out there right now that's just be, be, being busy being busy and before you stress yourself out there's a question there's one question that you have to ask yourself whenever you find that you your time is being divided because everybody is buying for your time because they all have their own interests in mind they don't care about you they just care about what they need to get from you. And if you're not careful, if you're not focused on what's really in the best in interest of you, then you're going to find yourself in a bad place. So the question that I want you to ask yourself right now, no matter what it is that you're doing, no matter what organization you're a part of, a part of I want you to say, do I love this? Is this something that I love? Because here's the thing, you're gonna get tired. That's normal. You're gonna work hard and there are gonna be instances where you just have to take a step back, take a breather. But it is that love for whatever it is that you're doing that's gonna keep you going. That's gonna keep you moving through those tough times where things just don't seem to be working out right. And sometimes you find yourself and when you're when you're honest with yourself, you find that, you know what, I'm really not in this organization for the love. I really didn't take this position for the love of the position. I took this position for the title. I took this position for the glitz, for the glamour. I took this position because it makes me look good. And when you ask yourself, do I love this? You find that less and less things that you do really bring you any value. Because there are certain things in my life that I really wanna do and I really wanna get done. And I notice that all of the things that I were doing were taking up my time so I couldn't focus on what was really important to me. And when you ask yourself, do I love this? It narrows your focus into doing the things that are important to you not what's important to everybody else, not what's important to your children, not what's important to your parents, not what's important to your family or your friends. What is important to you? And when you ask yourself, what do I love? And you start to scale things back because in my life, I had to clear out all the clutter. I had to clear out all of the distractions. 
And you know what I gained that I learned that was the most important thing that you have? Is I gained my peace of mind. So now I'm in a place where I can better serve you. Because I love doing these videos and I just didn't have the time. I was doing too much. And so now that I've cleared out the space in my life, now that I'm focusing on only doing things that I love, I got my peace of mind back. I gained something that that's more valuable than any title. I gained something more valuable than any amount of money. So I want you all to examine your lives and I want you to ask yourself that one question. Do I love this? Because the less things you do, the more things you gain. <sighs> okay, listen, if you like what you heard today, support me by running over to my YouTube channel and hitting that subscribe button. Darren Mitchell inspires all one word. And as always, my good friends, be blessed.